Hi, I'm Matt. Today's video lesson is about using prepositions of movement. We use prepositions to describe how someone or something moves. So let's find out more. Sometimes on the weekend, I travel outside of London. I like to visit natural and historical places around the country. Last weekend, I visited a small town near the sea. I walked for a few hours. In the town was a hill. I walked up the hill and then down it. Let's look at the sentences and focus on the underlined words. Can you find the prepositions of movement? That's right. Up and down are prepositions of movement. Let's look carefully at the sentences. What does the word up tell us about the hill? Up means that I walked to a higher position on the hill. We use up to talk about moving to or being at a higher position. What does the word down tell us about the hill? Down means that I walked to a lower position on the hill. We use down to talk about moving to or being at a lower position. So what are prepositions of movement and when do we use them? A preposition is a word that goes before a noun or pronoun. A preposition of movement describes how someone or something moves and changes position. Let's look at some more examples. Belinda walked up the stairs. Kevin ran down the stairs quickly. Let's move on. How can you use prepositions of movement in a sentence? Let's come back to my trip to the town. I continued walking near a river. Nearby, there was a bridge. I saw a train go under the bridge. I walked over the bridge. Let's look at the sentences and focus on the underlined words. Under and over are prepositions. Under means that the train went below the bridge. We use under for something that is moving or is below or lower than something else. Over means that I walked above the bridge. We use over for something that is moving above or higher than something else. Here's a quick overview of the first four prepositions. Up means that someone or something moves or is at a higher level or point. Down means that someone or something is at a lower level or point. Over means that someone or something moves or is above or higher. Under means that someone or something moves or is below or lower. Where do prepositions go in a sentence? Let's have a look at an earlier sentence. I walked over the bridge. Here, the preposition is used before the article, the, and the noun, bridge. Let's look at some examples using up, down, over, and under. The man is walking up the mountain. Clara walked down the hill to the park. The plane is flying over the countryside. The cat sits under the table. Let's look at some more prepositions of movement. Later, after I finished walking, I went to my car and drove from the town back to London. After lunch in the town, I walked across the road. I wanted to buy some local souvenirs, so I walked around the tree and past a sweet shop. Finally, I saw the souvenir shop and walked towards it. Before I got to my car to come home, I walked through a tunnel. I got home on Sunday evening. It was a great trip. Let's check their meanings. Across means that I moved from one side to the other. Around means that I moved along the edge of the roundabout. Past means that I moved away from the shop. Towards means that I moved closer to the shop. Through means that I moved from one end of the tunnel to the other end. Where do prepositions go in a sentence? As with other prepositions, they are used before an article and noun. 
Let's look at some examples of across, through, past, towards, and around. The dog ran across the park. Simon walked through the entrance. Tina went past the supermarket. The ball is going towards the racket. The squirrel is jumping around the garden. Now you can use prepositions of movement. And today we learned what is a preposition of movement and when we can use them using up, down, over and under, using across, through, past, towards and around. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.